So up there you have a spoon, uh, you have a spatula, you have a pair of tongs. All the things you need in the kitchen are up there. And then up at Chini we have my cooking pots. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is Fash. If you're new here, my name is Faith. Welcome to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share on this channel. If you are an oldie, thank you so much. I love you so much. I am a Kenyan YouTuber based in kenya because i don't live in one place throughout the year sometimes sometimes i'm in meru sometimes i am in vihiga county so i am a kenyan youtuber in those two counties so today we are going to do an interesting video about a house tour i have seen house tours videos on youtube and i thought why not try mine it is not as fancy but it is still mine and i can still show you i hope you like it please give it a thumbs up while you're watching and subscribe so that we can do more videos and uplift this channel thank you so much stay tuned hey guys so i'm standing outside the door right now this is the door look at my gate guys oh my god i live in the village by the way this house is in the village it's not in town so those who are in town you are advantage where we are there are no houses in uh, town they're very expensive so you gotta save your girl gotta save you know we have to save on this channel guys on this channel we save a lot so i'm standing outside let's enter together so that you can see the living room so the, the, this is the living room from the door this is the living room that is my baby seat the plastic seat and then the blue seat is what the one we used to sit outside when it is uh, hot in the house and then directly from the door you find my couch the red couch actually i have to confess i never loved it this much that I hate it. it looks so good oh my god so that is the couch that is my, my little calendar i tick their meal days and milk days and what have you and the camera can you just focus yes thank you so that is the couch and then from the, the three seater couch you have a little deco going on there i ordered these things from Kilimall online shop i was trying them out but i never bought more but i, I will sure get more because i think they look good on that wall and it's, please suggest in the comment section below do i need to get the black rings or should they should they be only red rings they're actually made of wood and they're nice and then from my couch, you come round, and then you find my dispenser, these, uh, the, my water dispenser, there's water on it uh, there, and then there's a, a serviette on it, when visitors come and they need to wipe their hands and what have you. And then up there we have my little TV. Guys, I have to confess I'm not a TV person, that is for my baby most of the time. I don't watch TV so much. And down there, I bought a little stand, TV stand, to hold my subwoofer because I had nowhere to put it. I like hanging the TV because my baby is young, two years old, and likes to distract things. And you, if you're a mom, you know these things. So that's why my TV is up there. And then my stand is down there to hold other stuff. So on this uh, TV stand, let me move closer. You have my subwoofer, the decoder, remotes, extensions. You have an iron box down there. And then you have uh, my two dolls. My two little cute dolls. They're waiting for my baby girl. I think they left her somewhere else, but she's not here. So, and then from this stand, let me just move so that you can see. You have this corner here. This corner, my baby likes to hide here where she's playing. Those are her toys. They're actually broken. Many of them, she has broken them. That's why there are not many there. But that is her toy corner. And then this side, you have a window. Okay? That window is the one that is next to the door. Remember, we, I entered the other way. And then now you have the one-seater seats. One is here, and the other one is there. So when you move like that, you find the window and a baby door for my girl. She likes to hold that when she sleeps. And then you have... But there I have this Mutumba... 
How do you call them? Pillow throws. Throw pillows. Yes, I don't have the ones that you buy from the market. I told you on this channel we save. We save. So these ones I got them at a hundred shillings each. A hundred shillings. That's why I love them. I think they look nice. Okay. So this is the living room. Guys, that is the curtain. And then back. So if you wanted to go around, this is what you'd see. Oh, and then, then at this corner we have a box. This box and the water bottle. This box is for it's my microwave box. I don't throw away boxes because of when I want to move. I don't want them to break. So let me just show you an overview of how the living room is. If I can zoom it down. Yes, that is my living room. Generally, I forgot to mention my little small table. <laughs> Guys, please support this channel so that we can get a new table. A new coffee table and even a dining table if we have to. Okay? And I know we will in Jesus' name. So, my little pillows again there. The, the, the heart-shaped ones, I love them so much. Oh my God. Also them, they were 100 shillings each. And you can see they do the magic anyway. So that is my living room generally from the door. Now, from the living room, there's a door here. We come to find the first bedroom. And this bedroom, let me open it. Well, yeah. this bedroom has only one bed, but it is very big. The bedroom is large and has one bed. Reason being it's only for one person so this bed is for my house manager currently she's not here that's why the room ha looks empty because she normally has her shoes there and then her clothes hangs her things around but because she's not here that's why the room is empty you can see her slippers are down there i miss her by baby she's at home so that is the first bedroom let me give you an overview of the bedroom i just cleaned that's where the curtains are still hanging in the air i just cleaned the rooms so this is the bedroom of my house manager and also i need suggestions on what else to put in this room because i don't like these empty spaces by the way i love a big room but it should have something so suggestions in the comment section what i need to put in this bedroom i hope you are following now from this bedroom we are going right ahead to the next room which is the kitchen so from where i'm standing that is what you can see when you're standing where i am that bucket is because my sink just decided to behave weirdly today so i put a bucket there to get the water i'll pour it later and then wash the bucket so when you enter the kitchen this is what you find you have my microwave here von support a girl von i am a von person if you can see that von please a girl is calling you so on this here you have straws these straws i normally buy a packet of straws because i i put drinks in the fridge and i cannot take them directly through my teeth that's why i use straws because you need them almost every day and then here you have cling film for your fruits ice cream that i'm about to dive in i'm waiting for it to cool because it was in the fridge in the freezer and then you have a fridge, Vaughn, my cooker, please focus camera, 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 oh my god, yes, there we go. I also have a Vaughn uh, cooking oven, so Vaughn, please, do something. So my cooker is a, a four, three gas burner and one hot plate. And I think it's very effective. If you are looking for uh, an oven, I recommend Vaughn. It has never disappointed me. I bake very well. And then cooking is also 
the fire is also real hot and fast. Then from the cooking point and from the microwave and and fridge point, you get to that part. This part is improvised. My landlord decided not to build me drawers and shelves. So I picked this thing from this house and placed it there. Remember, the, the, on this channel we save. Okay? So, actually I'm waiting for the camera to... So I actually just picked that thing there, then placed it there, and then placed my things there. So we have... These buckets are two of, of flour. Is the reason why there are two. And then you have small buckets of grocery... Not grocery. What do you call them? Cereals. Up here we have flour, spaghetti. And then up there we have a bottle of wine that ended a long time ago. Don't know why that's still there. Blue band. Milo. The things you need. Now because I don't have a shelf to place my spices. That is where I keep my spices. That's where I keep my spices. Up there on top of the... And you can see even the, the, the scenario the going on with the curtain. It's not really nice. So we, I'm doing this video today because I want to do an update on the house tour later when when quarantine is over. So please don't fry me in the comment section. I know my curtain looks weird. I know. I know, I know, I know it doesn't look like a girl. But we shall correct that later when we get the time. So you have my spices up there and then down there you get my sink. So from the tins there, that is the sink and then the working area. The working area is the uh, that I've placed some utensils. I work from here and then my utensils are there. There are not so many because there are not so many also in this house. So those are my utensils. And then from the utensils, you come here. And here you find my pots. Up there you have... No, there is another part from the utensils. Sorry guys, my, my phone went off. So when I was saying that there you have the supplies from there, you have the sink. I'm sorry for the lighting. The bulb in this house behaves mm, I don't know how but that is the sink and then down there you have a basins my baby's bath basin and our buckets and then you have soap so an overview of the bathroom should look like that and the bathroom is so spacious guys that this is what I like about this house the bathroom is so spacious you would never ask for a bigger bathroom in a house. And now from the bathroom, sorry for the lighting, guys. In this corridor, there's no light. And then from the bathroom, you get to my other bedroom. Look at the carpet situation. My baby has, my lovely baby, I miss you, has done a lot of things to this carpet. That are unimaginable, but I'll replace it. I told you we'll do an update. So don't fry me in the comments again. Saying I, I can afford to post a video that is... I don't know how. Now, this is an overview of my bedroom. An overview. Overview. My bed. Very simple bed. I love many pillows, but the pillows worn out, got worn out. And I have not yet replaced them. So I'll find... More pillows during the update, house tour update. That is my, my, what do you call it? Customized closet. This house does not have a closet. Clearly, you can see that. So I thought to give a design to the carpenter to make me one clothes hanger like that. And that is what he made me. Actually, I like it. And then you have my shoes. So let's begin the tour. From the window up there. I have 
a box. That box is full of medicine. You are normally told not to keep medicine next to children, away from the children. So that is our medicine supplies in case people get sick at night. So it stays up there to avoid emergencies. And then you have tissue. That cup is used for for taking medicine at night. Yeah, you understand. And then that is another box of medicine. And then you come down here. The curtain has been done like that to get light into the house. And then you come down here. You find this lady's bed. That lady's bed looks like that. Few pillows. But I've already talked about the pillows. They got worn out. So I had no choice. And then that is my... Uh, I'm looking for a word. What do you call uh, improvising? Yes. Uh, the improvised wardrobe of mine. So I call... That replaces my closet. So that's what you can call my closet. Okay. Oh, that's all my clothes. Minimalist here. Guys, minimalist here. So that is the clothes I have. And then in this closet of mine, you have a mirror. When I dress, I come here. I hope you can see me, guys. See? That's where your girl looks at herself in the mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror before you go out. So that is the mirror. And then in this wardrobe, Let's call it a wardrobe, guys. You have two boxes and one bag. The box on the other corner has my child's clothes that she's no longer wearing. And then her fleece blankets are folded on top. The bag here, this bag, has clothes that are not that don't need to be hanged on the hangers. This box here, but I'll do a tour of the... That box has blankets and extra towels and lessons and what have you. Down there you have suitcases. And this is my baby's, uh, what do you call it, laundry basket. Her clothes are in here. And you, you see she has left a representation there that that is her territory. So that's her laundry basket. Then you come round and you find my shoe rack. That's my shoe rack, my friends. That is my shoe rack. It has work shoes on top and then you get to flat shoes rubber shoes and boots and then down there you have gum boots and other boots also my shoe rack has a lot of work shoes because i have a nine to five job that i don't really like but you gotta do what you gotta do so up there you have a weird situation going on of hang bags that are all over we shall, you can comment in the section below to help me find a bag hanger. And then here, next to my shoe rack, you have, uh, what do you call that thing, guys? A stand. A plastic stand that has my supplies. This one has normally oils, makeups, and what have you. And this one has... Sanitary towels, yarn, because I like to knit, and my extensions, my mouse. And the one, the one on the beneath there has my inner clothes. And then that is my laundry basket for my clothes. And then on the floor, I have this pretty fluffy, I don't know if it is fluffy or ragged car carpet. That makes my room so feel so good. And I actually like it. So this one I got at a very cheap price, guys. And it is very nice and easy to wash. And up there you have my weird situation of a mosquito net going on. <laughs> oh my god. So that is it about my house, guys. Thank you. If you have watched up to this far, you are a bowler. Please support this channel by subscribing, like, comment, and share. And then watch till the end, guys. When you watch till the end, you enable YouTube to suggest this video to other people so that I can get more views and the channel can grow. Thank you so much for watching. If you want a closet tour, I can do my closet tour in another video. So an overview. Again, oh no, I did an overview a long time ago. An overview was done a long time ago.
the bed you come round the carpet laundry basket for mama shelf or drawers or whatever what do you call them whatever and then my shoes <laughs>